Before we talk about the answer to this question, let's make sure you know a few things about money. In today's world, money is how people pay for things. Duh. Money can be absolutely anything that does these three functions. The first one is a medium of exchange. Money is anything that people are willing to accept for payments. I'll give you an example. Several years ago, I printed out and gave to my students Clifford money. Take a look. Now, each dollar could be used for a bonus point on the exam. Students in my class started buying things from each other using Clifford dollars. Hey man, I'll buy that soda off you for a Clifford dollar. The point is that money, real money, has value because we're willing to accept it. The second function of money is the idea of a unit of account. So if I told you that car is worth $500, that gives you information. A car that's worth $50,000 is obviously going to be different. So money helps measure the relative value of different goods and different services. The last function is the idea of a store of value. Money allows you to save and store the value of your work and effort. So if you did some work for someone and you got paid in meals, there's no way to actually store that value. But getting paid money allows you to store that value to buy something in the future. What do you think inflation does to store value? Well, it diminishes it. That's why the answer is not C. But wait, there's two more things I want to talk about. It's the difference between fiat money and commodity money. Commodity money, like gold and cigarettes, has some sort of intrinsic value. You can do something else with it. Fiat money, like currency, has no other value. You can't do anything else with it. Okay, there's no country in the world that's still on something called the gold standard. In other words, the amount of money that you have doesn't represent a certain amount of gold that the government owes you. So that means if you take a $20 bill and give it to a government and say, hey, take this, I don't want it, give me something else that's worth $20, they'll give you back a $20 bill. So that's why the answer is B. Commodity money is used less than fiat money today. So I bet you're wondering about the Clifford dollars and what happened with them. In the beginning, I warned the students that sometimes banks go under and the value of the currency just disappears. So some students thought it was a good idea to buy up all these with real dollars. Other students thought maybe the Clifford bank might fold, so they're like, whatever, I don't really need these anyways. And that was a good way to introduce the idea of currency exchange, appreciation, depreciation, in the next unit, unit five. By the way, the bank folded.